Sunday should be a good day for the most part because it's supposed to rain in the afternoon into evening so hopefully I can do something during the beginning half of the day and then in the end towards the later half I could just chill but who knows maybe I'll just end up chilling the entire day it's not unlike me but first we gonna heat up some breads feels like every time I come home I always get fat always get fat always get fat so chore Oh really? Getting chunky in the morning. Oh. Oh my God. I always get fat. Always get fat. Always get fat. Feels like every time I come home, I always get fat. Always get fat. Always get fat. Always get fat. Leftover bubble tea from last night is the shit, man. You ever want to feel good about yourself or bad about yourself the next day? Walk up to your fridge, pull out the leftover bubble tea, and just take a sip. Happy election day, folks. <laughs> November 3rd today which is a day before my birthday it feels so crazy thinking that I'm gonna be turning 26 tomorrow it's insane I feel like last year around this time I wasn't even feeling like the 25s even though that's like quarter century now I'm turning 26 oh my god it's crazy crazy anyway first things first Time to make some morning coffee. Nothing like the first sip of coffee in the morning, honestly. You guys grew up in an Asian household. Your parents should have told you when you're cooking stuff with oil, put a paper towel over it <laughs> to absorb the oil. That's At least that's how my mom taught me growing up. She's always like, once you fry some shit, put some paper towel underneath to absorb all the oil. Let's get started. Hey guys, came back from the polls and your girl voted. Go out there and exercise your vote and your right as an American citizen. It's not too chilly out today, so perfect day to go out and cast your votes. It's really good. It's called Fritos dipped in Nutella. It's delicious. I just discovered this five minutes ago. Amazing discovery. You take a Frito chip and dip it in your Nutella and you eat it. It's the perfect blend of sweet, savory. It's delicious. I want eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So good. You guys seriously need to try this. You can thank me later. <laughs> you fall first or I fall first? Oh, you fall first, Cleet. I just didn't. You... <laughs> it's not working out. <laughs> you do it. You do it. I'm scared. Yeah, this is stupid. I feel like you don't know how to do it. I'm home. Flashes, brand new nails. I feel like a new person. Close up. Anyway, birthday is still going strong. I'm just waiting for my mom to come home. We're gonna celebrate with 
nice meal at home and some cake. For those of you who don't know, your girl finally got a gym membership. It's been forever. By forever, I mean like over a month. But still, forever. Um, I literally have to motivate myself today to go because if you look at the state of affairs outside right now, it's literally pouring. I don't know if you can see, but it's literally raining nonstop. Cats and dogs, things are coming down. And I think to myself, what a great day to go to the gym. It means there's going to be less people, hopefully less wait time, hopefully less people to, you know, judge me, whatever. I'm pretty psyched. It's my first day, so hopefully no casualties. Report back later. Now I have to eat protein. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to FaceTime call my friends. Let's see if they pick up. Hey, how's it going? Oh my god, hi! How are you? So good, how are you? Are you having dinner? Yeah. Hi, Michelle's. Hi! How's it going? So for those of you who don't know, I've never really tried the Starbucks chestnut praline latte and today my sister convinced me, hey, you should really go try it out. So here I am. I'm going to try it out. Let's see how I feel about this. Oh, Shirley. It's actually not that bad it was not as bad as i was expecting and the reason why is because i think this one you could really taste the chestnut yeah i don't know why we're expecting it to be horrible mm. it's actually pretty good good morning happy sunday um just a recap of what happened yesterday which is saturday tried to come home in a timely manner friday night didn't end up happening, <laughs> stayed pretty late, and then Saturday morning I went to get my facial and my eyelashes refilled. Eyelash lady was so upset with me, she was like, why did you pull them all out? And I'm like, honestly, I just got a lot of anxiety, and one came off, and then two, and then three, and then four. Let me know if any of you guys relate to that, because... Literally the moment that I get anxiety, I just like one thing just bothers me. Maybe it's my OCD-ness and then I just start pulling all the eyelashes out. So she's like, okay, don't do it again. And I'm like, all right, I promise I'm not going to do it this time. So I'm going to try really hard this time not to pull on my eyelash extensions. Anyways, today's Sunday. Um, I was in the city this morning picked up some coffee finally because i was really really craving oslo and so i finally got oslo coffee this morning on my way home um yeah and now i'm hungry haven't eaten yet so you know what it be it's time to make some instant ramen and if you guys know Nissan, this is my favorite brand of ramen so i'm so hyped sesame oil flavor so bomb 
so yeah, I'm just watching the water boil right now. I'm gonna pop in two eggs, two soft boiled eggs, cause now that's my new thing. I make soft boiled eggs um, every morning for breakfast. And yeah, today seems like it's gonna be a chill day, but we'll see what happens. Oh, and Startup, new episode of Startup came out yesterday. I got notified on my phone, so I'll probably watch Startup while eating my ramen later, but yeah, super excited. If you guys know, home is where the salmon steak and the Chinese veggies are. Finally got to the cafe and met up with my friend Linda. Parking was a little bit of a struggle. Almost hit the car that I was trying to back up into because you know, your girl's a little rusty. Haven't been in a while. Hopefully this can auto focus. There we go. I like that you could see yourself. Yeah, it's really cool. What did you get? I got lemon tart, oh, mango tart. Mango. And sweet potato tart. Yeah, what did you get to drink? This is uh, iced caramel latte with oat milk. Nice, that looks so good. PTO for Thanksgiving week um, All my friends make fun of me because they think I take off way too much So whenever I send snapchat saying like oh day blank of PTO, they're always like No, it's day one two three four five seven. I'm like, oh, okay, fine um, Really? No, it's just because because of the whole COVID pandemic We weren't allowed to take off in the first couple of months and then now they're encouraging people to take off because they don't want people to kind of like roll over their days for next year or kind of just stack them, you know, towards the end of the year, which makes sense because you don't want too many people out at the same time. So why not, right? Um, needed a mental break, but today is Tuesday. Hopefully I will have an amazing day. I have a appointment with my facial lady at 11 30 to get rid of my sunspots so maybe i'll take you guys along with me but yeah aside from that nothing much going on today um yesterday night woke up not woke up woke up from my nap really feeling a little bit um off and i realized that right now might not be a good time for me to feel this way and what i'm trying to say is whenever i feel off it's usually because it's about a boy or something so i just told myself right now is not the time to feel like this i'm on vacation i should enjoy it um stop thinking about other people and you know it's just a good reminder to tell yourself sometimes because we all have guilty we all are guilty of this we all tend to fall into the same like routine of like, especially for my single girls out there, if they're dating, if you guys are seeing anyone and then you get, you know, you start to catch a little feelings or you start to like find yourself like in a position where you never thought you'd be in. And then it's like a wave of emotions when this person starts to change up on you. Those videos are so popular on TikTok right now. There's so many of them that are like, oh, when we first started, he was all about it. And then a couple weeks down the line, he's not about it anymore. So I get y'all. I get what you guys are saying. I'm experiencing it too, but 
sometimes it's just important to remind yourself that um don't think about it focus on yourself and the right person will come along and make you feel special every day yeah as i'm saying this the sun is coming out so i guess the weather agrees with me as well <laughs> um gonna make some morning coffee so yeah i'll bring you guys along before that happens, I actually remembered I have to tell my sister about the dream that I have. I'm the type of person that barely has dreams, so then when I do, I always like to tell people right away. Oh, she's still asleep. Never mind then. I guess I'll forget my dream. Yo, I had a dream last night. Oh, okay, fine then. Okay, she doesn't want to hear it. <laughs> All right. 9.54, about an hour before I need to leave. Oh gosh. And, yeah. and if anyone else is like me, where when they wake up the first time, their body doesn't fully get used to it, so you're still kind of groggy, so then you sleep, but the second time sleep is always better than the first sleep. It's always a deeper sleep. The wake up post sleep is always better. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. If you guys feel that way, let me know, because I'm always like that for whatever reason first sleep's never enough and then after i wake up the second sleep following immediately following is like the best one or something maybe it's like the post nap whatever and my sister's awake so let's go bother her yo i had a dream last night you were you were in it but i was so excited and then i never got to tell you what i had to tell you in my dream Basically, we were celebrating Thanksgiving in someone's house. It didn't look like ours, but all our entire family was there. Like everybody, mom, dad, whatever, yeah, ma. But um, I invited this guy there, and I, it was weird because this guy is literally not my first choice in terms of guys I would invite over to Thanksgiving. And then I remember we were all like eating and like just like chatting, whatever. He was being like very like touchy with me, which was weird because my family was there. It's like, why would you be touchy in front of my family? But whatever, that's not the point. And then dad, that same day, he was supposed to participate in a poker tournament. So he got all dressed up and he was about to like go live on TV. But then like we never, like we saw him go live. But then we didn't know what happened. And then, I don't know, I had to go to the market to buy something because our house was missing like one supply or an ingredient. So I, I ran downstairs to like the market area, which is why I'm like, this is definitely not our house because our house is not connected to like a market. And I was running through the market trying to find things. And then eventually I couldn't find what I had to find. So I came back on my way back. I saw Bam Bam and Yu Gyum walking through the market. And then they were approaching this really busy street where there's a lot of people standing there. And then people started to recognize them. So then they're like, oh, hi, hi, whatever. Right? And then they got started freaking out because I don't think they were with their managers or any of their um, like body protectant people, like bodyguards or whatever. So then they started running, but like they ran in the opposite direction. So towards me, and I didn't want to get trampled on. So I just like started running too, like try to going back to the house. But then in my head, I was just like, I have to tell Shirley. I have to tell Shirley who I just saw. Oh my gosh, she missed out. She didn't see Bam Bam and Yu Gyeom walking through the streets of the market. I was like so excited, like trying to like run back to tell you. And I never made it to you because I woke up. <laughs> but then I woke up and I'm like, wait, I have to tell Shirley this dream. I think all this to say you need to stop showing me GOT7 shit because they're like ingrained in my brain now. Even when I go to sleep. Were you playing it this morning by the way? When mom was awake? Yeah, that's probably why. It's like manifesting. I'm about to eat my breakfast. Long overdue. I got croissant. And two soft boiled eggs with sriracha and maggie sauce. Alrighty. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh gosh. Recap yesterday. What did I do? Yesterday I woke up 6 30 a.m to get to a cycling class at 8 o'clock a.m. After cycling, came back, took a little bit of a break. Personal trainer texted me saying 
he wants to move up the session. So I rushed into the city, um, got in a nice personal training session before Thanksgiving. I didn't want to go home immediately, so I texted, hit up a friend, and then we had some dinner, and then I came home. That was yesterday. Mm -hmm. Today is Thanksgiving, and I don't plan on doing anything significant today besides chilling and eating. But yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Hope you guys have a amazing Thanksgiving and I'm thankful for everybody that I've came across in my life, good or bad, because they taught me lessons that I may or may not have known had I not met them. Mm -hmm.